What's up, tech heads? Brian from A10 here again with the A10 UC9020 Stream Live HD. You're probably wondering, how do I set up my UC9020 Stream Live HD? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you exactly how to do that with a two camera setup. You ready? I am. Now, you're probably wondering, what kind of camera can I use with my A10 UC9020? Very good question. Your camera has to have an HDMI out port. Now it can be a mini or micro HDMI out port, you just need an adapter. So for example, here I have a Sony RX100 camera. Notice it has a micro HDMI out port, but I have a handy adapter, plug it right in, and we can plug this into the A10 UC9020. Over here I have a Sanyo camcorder. It has a mini HDMI out port. Once again, handy adapter, take it, plug it right in, this thing's ready to connect to our A10 UC9020. All right, everyone, first things first, we need to plug in our power source into the A10 UC9020. Okay, after that, these scene preset buttons are gonna run through this sequence where they light up green. That means that the device is booting on. Next, since we're doing a two camera setup, we wanna plug in our HDMI cords from our cameras into the UC9020. So we got one, let's do two. All right, our cameras are plugged in. Of course, if you wanna get online, you need to plug in your ethernet cord. You can do that right there. Then come your audio connections and your microphone if you wanna hear your voice. Finally, over here, if you want to monitor everything that you're doing on a larger screen, you can plug into the SRC PGM. Now, if your iPad uses the lightning connector, you need to use a separate adapter for your USB-A cable. If you use an iPad Pro, we've included a handy USB-A to USB-C cable. The next step is to plug in your iPad to the UC9020. So let's do that. Take our iPad, put it in its little holder, connect to the link port on the side, of course, next, you're gonna to need to fire up your innovative UC9020 app. Let's do that now. Now, if you've already set up your settings with the device, the fastest thing is to hit reload project from device. In fact, it only takes a couple seconds, and that's it, you're in. Now, let's take a closer look at the UC9020 app. First of all, you'll notice all of your scenes here. Here's your preview and here's your program. These are your eight different scene presets. You can edit these just to your liking. Down here, you can see whether or not you're connected with UC9020. Over here, you can check the status of your streams. Above that, you have your digital transition T-bar and auto and cut buttons, just like on the hardware. On top of that, you have your volume controls. Finally, at the top, you have your video, audio, and other settings. That's all for this video. Until next time, happy live streaming.